Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Aaron, and I'm gonna continue my series on my Synology NAS. In the first video, I mentioned that there were three main things I wanted to do with it. Number one was being able to edit videos from Final Cut Pro right off of the NAS. Check that one off. I got a video out for that one already. Second thing is I wanted to run a Plex server. So today I'm gonna figure out how to do that, and I'm going to uh, hopefully show you guys how. All right, just using our web interface of our NAS, I'm gonna go ahead and try to set up the Plex server. And uh, I also have an Apple TV hooked up to that TV over there. So the Apple TV is gonna be my client. I hear you can connect to a Plex server from an Apple TV, so uh, we'll find out. This is my first time doing this stuff. So clicking on the package center, I already know that it is under beta packages. So uh, let Let's join beta. So I guess it is going to download and install this for us. And you have to tell it which volume you want it on. I have three volumes. My second one is my media volume that I want to be hosting all of my content on there. So we need the optional name of a shared folder where I can write logs to. So I guess before I do this, I probably need to go create a shared folder on this volume. So I'm just gonna exit out of this install for right now, go over to my control panel, shared folder, and I'm gonna create a shared folder on volume two, and we're gonna call it media. All right, and uh, just next, 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 and apply. All right, so now we have a media folder that is shared under volume two. So let me get out of the control panel and let's do this again. It says it's optional, so let's just go ahead and leave it blank, see what happens. So it's gonna install this in volume two, and yes, we want it to run after installation. All right, so let's see, this tells us about permissions in the control panel. So we're gonna to wanna to put our media in the media directory that we created, and we're going to, uh, let's see, go into those and edit the permissions on it. So we have to change the dropdown from local user to system internal user. Repeat these steps for each share you want the media server to be able to access. All right, so I guess it is installed. We can just click open. Well, on the NAS, it scans your media, and then you can play it back on your favorite Plex app. Got it. All right, so I don't want to subscribe to Plex Pass. I just want to use the free version of it. Found a server. Sure, we'll access it outside of our house. Now we can add a media library. So movies. We'll name it movies. Sure. Now we want to browse for our movies. So now if we go to our finder and we go to the NAS, we now have a media folder here. So we can go ahead and drop in some movies. So in the media directory, I just created a folder called movies here and threw a movie in there. And I'll see if it will let us browse and find that. So, See, volume two, media, add. All right, add library, next. All right, so now we need to get the Plex apps and see if this works. Manage libraries, we got movies. All right, now you remember that little pop-up where Plex needed permissions to do our stuff. We gotta go into uh, here into our shared folders and we'll find the media one that we created and go into edit and over in the permissions tab we have uh, different types so if we go to system internal users we see that the Plex media server user has been created 
by installing that and they currently have no access. So we want to give them a read write access and save. Now, if we go back over here to our library that we created and we click scan and go to our movies, hey, look, it showed up. So we can actually play this on our Plex Media server now. All right, so we can see this plays locally on our Plex Media server, which is good. But what we really want to do is be able to play it on our TV using Apple TV. Well, eventually downstairs in my theater room, but I have an Apple TV down there as well. All right, so I just set up the Plex Media server in my office, uh, but there's so much glare when I was recording that, I figured I would redo it here for you to make it a little prettier. So this is uh, my home theater with my 170 inch screen that I built. So we're just gonna go over here and search for Plex. Plex. Oh, so apparently this is already installed. I was not aware. So I'm gonna go to this website and enter this code. I'll be right back. All right, so it linked my account so I can uh, Go next, and it has already found the one movie that I have there. Uh, if you move over to the left, you can see that's the movies on my NAS. Uh, it also has live TV with all kinds of these channels. So there's literally, let me show you all of these channels. So it just goes and goes and goes. So there's a, a ton of free stuff that you can watch with Plex. And there are also other movies and shows that it finds from uh, various places that you have access to. It's got web shows, podcasts, music on title. So I haven't uh, tried any of this stuff. I don't know if you have to have a title account to play these. Probably, I assume. It just says preview. All right, so you can hit the play button to stop that. It took me a while to figure that out. So yeah, if you have a title account, that's uh, really cool, which I do not. I used to have one, but uh, yeah, so we can pull up the movie, hit play, you see how fast this is. All right, so that wasn't bad at all. So now we can watch the movie right here in the theater. All right, so uh, hopefully this was helpful, guys. If it was, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and stick around for more NAS content that'll be coming up in future videos. 